very pleased to see a highly statistically significant difference between the group that started on regorafenib and those who got the placebo. Those who got the regorafenib had almost five months disease control, 4.8 months median. Those who got the placebo initially had less than one month, 0 0.9 months disease control. So that's a hazard ratio of 0.27, again, highly statistically significant. And the good news is that upon progression, those patients could cross over to active regorafenib. What we'll show in our full ASCO presentation is the fact that after progression, those patients initially randomized to placebo actually had remarkably good outcomes in disease control, very similar to those who started on the regorafenib. So again, a, a safety blanket, a safety net for the patients that were in this study based on the design, the crossover design. That also explains the very expected lack of a statistically significant survival benefit. Frankly, we investigators don't really like survival benefits. It means somebody died, and especially if you've got an active drug, you, you don't want to have that happen. If you have to prove that, there may be other ways to do it. And we feel that this crossover study protected the best interests of patients, and we're fortunate that the regulators in designing the study agreed with us on that. So we, we feel good about the study design.